Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a quick little makeup eyeshadow look. Uh, I say quick because I'm actually getting ready for work and I know I won't have enough time to like do a whole lot, but I really wanted to try my uh, Kathleen Lights uh, X Colourpop pigment in the shade. This is the shade Scorpio. And I swatched them in a vlog I was gonna put up, but then there's not enough footage of that vlog. So what I'm thinking is I might put those swatches at the beginning of this. Or I guess I should put them after this. So today I did like, um, I would call it a soft halo eye with brown in the inner corner, outer corner, and then the pigment Scorpio in the middle. I did wet my brush for this one. Kathleen said you could either wet your brush or use glitter primer. So I still need eyeliner. I did this side to see how it would come out if I would like it. We're going to get started. To start off, I'm going to use my Frencation palette, but... Really, I'm just using it because I don't use it that often. All you're looking for is a shade like that. So it's like a little darker than bone color, I would say. Definitely a cooler um, transition shade. And you want to throw that in your crease like that. What I like to do is just like keep going back and forth into the palette to really build up that color. And I take it all the way out in windshield wiper motions. And then I go back in, apply it the same way, and then start blending in circles. I With transition shades like these, you want to take it to like, or what I like to do is take it into this part right here of my eye. Uh, if you guys watch Katie, she's like a really big YouTuber. She does the same thing and it just works for certain eye shapes like it looks better it makes your eyes look uh, more I would say bigger at the same time makes your nose look contoured but it makes your eyes look like extended if that makes sense. So we just blend this in here and again it's just like a color that's almost the same as the color of the one we're going to be putting in the outer crease. It's obviously way lighter, but it's just a nice transition shade so things blend more seamlessly. And don't worry if you take it too high because you can always just go back in with a brow bone shade, which is what I do all the time. And I'm not the best at blending, especially when I'm getting ready for work. Sometimes I'm like, oh, this is enough. Let's go. But this part, it, you don't even have to try that hard. It, like, blends itself. Okay, so I did that. Then I'm going to go into this shade right here. I didn't tell you what the other one was called. The other one was called Necessary. I agree, it's very necessary. This shade was called Necessary. And then we're going to go into Cheens. I don't know what that means. I, I'm sure they explained it in the video, which I watched, but this palette came out a while ago, so I can't exactly remember. So then we're going to apply that dark brown right here, kind of like closing off your eye. I'm using like a, this is an e.l.f. brush. It's like to pack in eyeshadow, but I like how small and precise it is. And I'm trying to like push all that shadow forward into my eyelid and then just kind of diffuse it right here just to make things easier for the next step when we put the pigment in the middle so then we're gonna do 
kind of the same process in the inner corner. This part is kind of hard to show, but I'll do my best. Basically, you're putting that same shadow on the opposite end of your eye, packing it in and pushing it in inwards the same way. So it kind of leaves this hollow space in the middle of your eye. This is why they call it a halo eye. My halo eye, I feel like it always looks a little bit different than others, but basically you need a blank space in the middle. Shout out Taylor Swift. So then I have that little white space in the middle. I'm gonna take a, just this synthetic brush. It's still dirty from this eye. And so what I did was I sprayed the setting spray I was gonna use into the cap so that it wouldn't I wouldn't have to spray the brush this way and then all the liquid just it's like I feel like it's a waste you know so I put in the cap so I wet the brush I dipped it into the cap and then I'm gonna dip it into the pigment tap off the excess and then we're gonna start pressing it in like that so kind of into that blank space, it doesn't matter if you go over the brown because you're going to go back in with the brown and blend again anyway. There's surprisingly not no fallout. I could have done my face and then done my eyeshadow, but I am just so used to always doing my eyeshadow and then my face just in case there is fallout especially with darker shades or glitters like this so this is what it looks like right now I hope you guys can see I'm doing my best and I don't have like a profesh camera yet like I said we're gonna go ahead back in with that darker brown and blend over the shadow just to make it look like like it's being sandwiched in And I kind of like like a messy halo eye. I don't like a really perfect one on me at least. When I see them on other people, I'm like, wow, that looks amazing. But on me, I kind of like it too. That's how I like my shadows. Like not very uh, Instagram style. Like not sh super sharp line. Like, you know what I mean? There's like two styles of makeup. And both styles are fine. It's just I like um, when everything's like blended that's what we have and then I'm just gonna go in with a brow bone shade so this is a brow bone shade I like to use and it's called basic and I love that shade because it's like an eraser like it literally will undo like if you blend it too high it just undoes it it's great that's why I like to bring it all the way in here you can't even tell sometimes and I like to bring it in here not to highlight but to kind of like push back down those shadows. So then I'm going to go again in with the same brush that I used to blend in my, uh, what do you call it, my crease color. But I didn't grab any more pigment, just whatever's left on there. Just try to blend this out. So we're going to do eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face and then we'll come back to lower lash line. Okay, so as you can see, I put powder under my eyes. Normally, um, I am cool with just setting my eyes with a brush and that's it. Like, this isn't about baking. I just like that it'll catch all the, if I have any fallout with pigments or glitters or just dark eyeshadows. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna dip in this brush into some setting spray and then I'm gonna dip it into the pigment Nip. and then I'm gonna start blending it I low-key wish I hadn't done eyeliner I feel like you could have you could see it better when I didn't have eyeliner on oh well it's too late I had no time to think so then we're gonna start blending that in the lower lash line Sorry, I know it's like hard to see if I cover you guys, but. See? Okay, 
lower lash lines, you really just want to smudge. Make sure everything's blended. I think that's like super noticeable when someone doesn't blend their lower lash line. Like, if someone doesn't blend a crease or anything else, it's not that noticeable. But I feel like lower lash lines are. Like, I know on me, you can tell when I had time and you can tell when I was like, let's go. So it's pretty diffused. And I know usually halo eyes, like, people don't do an inner corner highlight, but I always do. I don't know if I will today. I'm going to wipe the powder off. The reason why I'm not doing my whole face on camera is because I feel awkward not talking and just being, like, recorded. But I have no time to, like, be talking. Like, I'm running late right now as it is. Okay, so I have a confession. I was, like, not going to record my full face um, for this video because, like I said, I, I don't have time. But I thought I had put you guys in time lapse. <laughs> and I hadn't. I wasn't recording. So, there's that. But yeah, this is the finished look. Well, I'm missing mascara, but I'm probably just going to have to do that either off of camera or when I'm at work already. Because I have no time and I still have to do my hair. This is a lip liner that I told you guys about in my favorites video. So, I'm just going to throw in some of that. But I hope you guys like this look. If you want to see any other looks, um, or if I could have done something better, let me know. This is obviously my first um, makeup tutorial. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see or if any of the other pigments I have. If you want to see like a full face or like how I usually do my makeup or anything like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, Give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate any feedback you guys give me as well. What do you... I appreciate any constructive criticism. And I'm going to go ahead and do my hair. And hopefully I'm not late for work. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.